Don't provoke me to do it. Had your chance, but blew it. No one cares about my tears, so I'm thinking about something stupid. You all felt to notice, cause no one pays attention. Should I slip my wrist, take these pills, or turn to self suffocation? I'm hurting. Behind all this happiness is pain. Face says I'm okay, your man inside burning with so much hate. I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Pain is more than skin deep, I just want it to be over. The letter reads, I'm sorry, mommy, I just couldn't take it. I had hey guys, to watch this. So, this video is really long awaited, and I do apologize, but <sighs> this is my note. If you can see it. And at the end, I'll tell you why I did this project. And, um,. I'll read a few lines from other notes that many of you have sent in, and I'll read a poem. So, let's get right into mine. It's hard to read because of the sign, sorry. <laughs> to whom this may concern, let me first say for now that I am free. And if you're reading this, I suppose that you care, or you're just curious as to why I chose this way out. People may say I chose the cara way out, and I suppose if that's what you think of people who have no clue of how to cope with the pain they're going through other than feeling like they're freeing themselves or lifting a burden of themselves off of others then you turn the blind eye to it all this world was too cold for my warm heart to thrive in i've witnessed neglect hurt pain fear and it all i've had those turn their backs on me when i needed them the most Okay, I have those turn their backs on me when I needed them the most. I've lost faith when my mother was taken from me at age four. I lost hope when my father pulled the trigger on himself and chose the suffering of his children, his family, and himself, other than to tell the truth to be on the other side of those bars of the prison that he now lives in. I lost touch with life when I lost my grandmother so suddenly. I lost my peace when my other grandmother left this earth. I lost my innocence at age five when I realized that not every man with a kind smile has my best interest at heart. Or when I realized that men really do use women just for sex and their bodies and their smiles, but they don't see anything like their souls or their brains or their passions or their vibes. I lost the only mother's touch that I've known since the loss of my biological mother when I was kicked out of my home when I was a freshman in college. I lost my sanity when I kept all of this hurt in. I lost my tears when I thought back on it all. I lost my life when I realized I wasn't really living. When the pain, the hurt, the regret, everything became too much. I lost my first love in the distance. I opened my wounds when I became an artist. I found my passion in making others happy, lifting people up and helping them love themselves. But who made sure I was okay? Those who smile hide the most pain. Those who live to make others happy knows what it feels like what it feels like to have nothing at all. To my true friends, my family, I love you dearly. To my brothers, please know I love you so much, you guys. Like, you're my world. You are my world, or you were my world after this, you know, letter is over. I guess I'll be taking my life. But for now, I am free. And that is the end of my, um, suicide letter and um at the beginning you saw that i put um what i'm sorry i'm trying to see what time i'm at i don't want to keep you guys too long okay i put in the beginning let me first say for now that i am free and at the end i put for now i am free and that line came from a poem called i'm free i can't remember the poet who wrote it or the author but it was on my grandmother's obituary, my mother's mother. And it, I memorized the shit out of that poem because it, my grandmother was taken so suddenly and it didn't hit me. It didn't hit me that she was gone. 
we were all brought to the kitchen table and told that my grandmother had passed. And it was just like, she was, you know, she was on a come up. Like she was recovering from, you know, what she, her decisions that she had made and stuff. So for her to just leave when she was getting better, like I just, I was so just, I don't know, frazzled, I guess that's the word. But I'm going to read the poem because I memorized this poem and I don't remember, well, I don't, you know, have it memorized now, so I have to read it, but I'm free. Don't grieve for me, for now I am free. I'm following the path God has chosen for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work or play. Task left undone must stay that way. I found, I've now found peace at the end of the day. If my partner has left the void, then fill it with remembered joys. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Oh yes, these things I too will miss. Be not, not burdened with the times, with the times of, of sorrow. Look for the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I savor it much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seemed all too brief. Don't lengthen your pain with undue grief. Lift your heart and peace to thee. God wanted me now. He set me free. I don't know where the video cut off, so I'm just going to go ahead and read the lines from the people who um, sent in their poems and stuff. I mean, not poems, but suicide notes. So those six lines that really stuck with me. One said, it doesn't matter to people, so why am I here? What is my purpose? Another, I'm not strong enough anymore. I wish you all the best. I'll see you later. It all hurts so much to write this, but I have to. All the people I have loved have died. Now it's time for me. Scared to do better. Scared to fall in love. Scared to move forward. So these were some of the things that, you know, stuck with me. And like I was saying, the reason I did this is because suicide is such a silent topic and people really don't act upon it. So I thought it would be best for me to bring it to the light. And what gave me this idea was I was watching one of my favorite documentaries called The Dead Mothers Club. And a few of their mothers had taken their own lives. And it's like once you have a dead mother, you are in a club with the next person who has a dead mother. Like we can both say we're from New Jersey. Okay, cool. We're both African American. Okay, cool. Well, my mother died. Well, so did my mother. It becomes a club. It's like a tattoo that's deeper. So, um, I just wanted to wake people up, you know, become conscious of the people around you. Make sure people are okay. Um, just because they're smiling doesn't mean they're happy and, you know, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you've learned something or that you, um, become conscious about this so thank you so much